if you're as fed up scraping ice off your windshield in the winter as I am, well, then you're pretty ticked. I mean, we can put a man on the moon, and don't give me that El Nino crap. Wait, let me start again. Just edit, edit that, edit that. If you're as fed up scraping ice off your windshield in the winter as I am, well, try melting it off. How? Just top off the windshield washer fluid tank with gasoline. <laughs> You might want to use the unleaded gas on that because fumes from the leaded gas can wreck your brain and affect your something. <laughs> I had to ignite that stuff. Just use your cigarette lighter. It's the Red Green Show! I didn't think I was going to get here in time for the show. As a matter of fact, I was uh, running so low on gas. I've just been running on fumes in the possum van. <laughs> Boy, the possum van just ran on fumes. That thing could go forever. Oh, <laughs> that when I was trying, Harold, I was trying to stop for gas. I thought I'd have time to do that. But I got behind these cyclists. Have you seen the cyclists? They got their spandex long johns on there. <laughs> They're taking up the whole lane. They're doing about 11 clicks. <laughs> so I just, I just plain run out of time. Don't be picking on bike riders. What they do is good for the environment, it's good for their hell. Not with my attitude, it isn't, Harold. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, those cyclists, they're a nuisance. They shouldn't even be on the road. Why, 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 why they can't ride in the sidewalks? There's no bike lanes. Where, where are they supposed to ride? How does England sound? <laughs> Bikes are way more efficient than cars are. They're way more cheaper to run, and then they, they run a lot further, too. All right. All right. Why don't you put your money where your mouth is, or do you have that much money? <laughs> I'll bet you. All right. All right. This is good. This is good, because the possum van right now is completely empty of gas. Fuck. So that's a good start, OK? So what we do is we have $10 each to spend, OK? OK. I'll take the possum van. You get on your tricycle, all right? <laughs> and we'll see who goes farthest in a 24-hour period, all right? Okay, yeah, deal. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Can you lend me 10 bucks? Yeah, sure. No, yeah, no. All right. You... <laughs> Time to play the Possum Lodge word game. And tonight's special guest is Mr. Mike Hammer. We're playing for a special prize of five pounds of chopped beef. Wow. Yeah. It's supplied by Wally's Butcher Shop, and Wally's included a little note here. It reads, uh, if you come across a finger, you can keep it, but he would like the ring back. Oh, boy. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Uncle Red, you have 30 seconds to get Mr. Mike Hammer to say this word. Shopping. Shopping. Yeah, all right, oh. Harold. Yeah. <laughs> Go! All right, Mike, you need something, so you go down to the store and you go... Case the joint? No. No. Okay, you go in, you pick up what you want, you go to the cash register, now you are... Running? <laughs> you know, uh, you see people in the mall, they got their arms full of purchases. They are... Marks. <laughs> Let's go a different way, Mike. You know those carts they have out in front of the grocery stores? You've seen them in the racks there. What are they called? Mobile homes. <laughs> okay, now, this is something people see as fun. They go into a mall and they go... Panhandling? <laughs> okay, okay but, but once you've panhandled for a while, you take the money, you go into the mall, and you make a purchase. You are... In a liquor store? <laughs> Almost out of time, Uncle Red. Okay, Mike, stores, okay? You're not browsing, you're not panhandling, you're not shoplifting, you're not casing the joint. You are... In custody? Yeah, you know what I do, uh, uh, Mr. Green? I say, hey, officer, I wasn't doing nothing wrong. I was just shopping. There you go. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've got 100 kilometers on my 10 bucks worth of gas, and the possum van is just starting to sputter now. So I'll tell you, that. I figure I got Harold beat eight ways to Sunday on this one. <laughs> I think 
you're supposed to leave the seat on the bicycle. <laughs> How far have you gone, anyway? I'm uh, 117 kilometers. What? <laughs> yes, and I haven't even spent my $10 yet. You still got all the money? Oh, yeah, yeah, they ran out of liniment. <laughs> How are you doing? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm doing fine. I'm just warming up, actually, Harold. Uh, Don't forget, we still got two hours left, and I'm not out of gas. Well, I pretty much am. Yeah, I think maybe you... You know, Harold, I was thinking maybe we should have a prize of some kind for this contest. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. You know, if I win, I would really like to have, like, a trophy or something. Okay, all right, and yeah. if I win, we'll, um, uh, we'll exchange vehicles for a day. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get the possum van and you get the bike. Well, hey, it's fine with me, Harold, because it will never, ever happen. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have a trophy to win. <laughs> At the gates of heaven, and there doesn't seem to be anyone around. Oh, yeah. It's probably just a final test to see if you're patient, so don't just walk in and sit down. <laughs> you know, women never get tired of hearing men say those three little words. I'll make dinner. Especially the kids have been wailing and fighting all day and the dog's trying to fireproof the furniture. So today on Handyman Corner, I'm going to show you a simple recipe to make the beautiful Possum Lodge fire engine chili. You know, all chilies pretty much uh, have the same ingredients there, so that's not really the secret of it. The secret is to make everything in big batches. You know, it's a lot cheaper. And uh, you, get, you get the leftovers, which is real handy when you get relatives dropping over unexpectedly. And you want to serve them something that'll uh, convince them they should really leave. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to need a bigger pot. You know, the beauty of this recipe is if you make enough, you can actually move the whole project outside. You know, where you'll be more comfortable with your surroundings and your equipment. Yeah, just fire that up on there. There you go. Get that in. Now for the onions. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. Safety first, eh? It's bad enough the guys see you're cooking. You don't want them to see that you're crying, too. All right, once you got all the stuff in there, just let her simmer so the ingredients can marry each other. Don't try to talk them out of it. You didn't listen, neither will they. Oh, this is going to be a good batch. <laughs> now, you know, there's a wide variety of seasonings that you can use in your chili, just to your own personal taste. But I always like to start with the red hot chili powder. I mean, this is called chili, huh? I'm just going <laughs> to... All right, that's good. Now, what else? Let's see. Oh, way in there. Okay, what else we got? Well, what the heck? It is called chili. <laughs> I'm not going in there. That's, that's fiber. All right, now for my secret ingredient, huh? Kerosene. <laughs> oh, no, I, 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 I know your thing. That's poison, right? Well, you know what? The poison part burns off. I'm pretty sure. And, and it, gives the, it gives the chili a real kick to it, eh? Besides, a little bit of kerosene in the back this size isn't going to hurt anybody. Well, it isn't going to hurt everybody. <laughs> Remember now, presentation is everything. So I suggest you serve the chili in a bowl rather than the bunch of you just stand in a circle eating it straight out of the pot. Oh, man. Your wife's going to love you for this, eh? Nothing says my heart burns for you like Possum Lodge chili. Oh. All right, uh, I'm thinking next time in Handyman Corner, I'm going to show you how to turn a shop back into a stomach pump. <laughs> Until then, remember, the women don't find you handsome. They should at least find you handy. Anybody want any chili? To go?
want to take a few minutes to show you middle-aged guys something. When you get too old to memorize the eye chart, it's a lead pipe since you're going to be issued a pair of these. <laughs> these are called eyeglasses. They're given to people like us so we won't be a safety hazard to the general public. <laughs> Remember a long time ago you said you'd do it till you need glasses? <laughs> well, guess what? That time has come. <laughs> so off you go with your prescription down to the optician there. And besides the fact that you need glasses to see how you look in glasses, you're going to go crazy trying to find a pair that don't make you look like a geek. <laughs> well, I can save you a little bit of time there. All glasses make you look like a geek. <laughs> well, here's the good part. Once you're out of the store, it's not your problem, because you're on the inside looking out. <laughs> so if you need glasses, get them. Remember what Dorothy Parker said, men who need glasses sometimes make passes at women who are already their wives. <laughs> hey, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. so smart, my brain should be registered in that, uh, that place, you know, they, you know, they have that, uh, they have that place where they have the things. <laughs> no, I, 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 went, I had enough gas to just get to the top of Rock Reef Point, and then when the possum van stalled, I turned her around, and I coasted all the way down, never went near the brake. I mean, it was a hairy ride, but I had another 37 kilometers to my total body. <laughs> I'm gonna beat Harold so bad on it. <laughs> where, where have you been? Rock Reef Point. There's your back bumper. <laughs> you were on your bicycle hanging onto my back bumper? Woo! That's cheating, buddy. Oh, no, 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 it's not cheating. I was, what I was doing was not what, what I was monitoring you cheating. No, 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 you slowed me down. I want credit for that. No, 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 we landed at the bottom at the same time, so that still gives me my 17-mile lead. Therefore, you owe me the keys to the Possum Van Sea Bouquet. <laughs> Treat her nice, Harold. Okay. And here's the key to my bike. That's for a saddlebag. There's a sandwich in there. You can have that. <laughs> Boy, is there going to be a real adjustment for you. I haven't been on two wheels in a long time. Every time I turn a corner. <laughs> well, welcome to the Men Anonymous. And uh, as always, I'd like to ask my Uncle Red to come up here and lead us in the Men Anonymous pledge, Uncle Red. I'm a man, but I can change if I have to. I guess. <laughs> All righty. Now, uh, just a reminder here at Men and On, did we, uh, you know, there will be no names, no last names, no middle names, no nicknames, nothing. Privacy is the utmost. All righty? Okay. Tonight's guest speaker, Mr. Winston Rothschild. <laughs> you? <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Mr. Rothschild. <laughs> well, as most of you know, I uh, have a sewage and septic sucking business. Our motto is, we make sure bygones are bygones. <laughs> but I had a real breakthrough last week, guys. I was on a flight from Port Asbestos to uh, Hogan's Hump, and uh, I had a young lady sitting next to me. Now, ordinarily, when I meet a stranger, especially a lady, I just go on and on and on about my line of work, eh? Because I find my career so fascinating. And I usually have a few humorous anecdotes about the uh, septic sucking business as a whole. <laughs> Which reminds me, have I told you the one about the, the boot? You know, up the tube there? Yeah. With the shredding and the, shredding. you know, and the pressure pipe comes down, it sucks the boot up. And it goes up there just flapping away like, yeah. like that. Well, anyway, the point is, I managed to go the entire flight without talking about my business, which, as you know, is other people's business. <laughs> yeah, no, Siri, I, I, uh, I asked her questions about herself, and I, uh, yeah, I gave her some helpful hints in the event of a plane crash. 
Oh, it was hard, but I'll tell you, not once did I even mention the concept of sewage. Even when they brought us our meals. All right, congratulations. All right, Bill was trying to get an axe out of the stump before I came. Give her a good yank there, Bill. And just... Oh, well, later, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I told you later. All right, uh, what are we doing? What's, what are we talking about? Uh-oh, I don't like it when he puts his hand in his pants, but apparently he's putting his hand in my pants, I guess. What do you, what do you watch out? Easy, easy. Oh! I don't watch the knots. <laughs> oh, boy, that's a lot of rope for uh, an older gentleman. Uh, what did you, uh, what do we got in mind here? Okay, I'll take, what are we doing? What are we doing, Bill? What are we doing? Oh, oh, oh! I don't think I completely understand or enjoy the game, but thanks for, what? Fine. Oh, a tug of war! Oh, oh, you want a tug of war? All right, where you go? You go out. You go that way. You go that way. Don't look back. All right. <laughs> I got a little plan I'm working on here. <laughs> Just a little helper for my end of the rope. <laughs> oh boy. Just uh, take a little extra slack and go around the car. Even a K car, I think, will be better than most humans. <laughs> there and chuck that under and I can uh, what I can do is yeah yeah, yeah. oh 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 what the, oh what the, oh, oh boy. <laughs> tie her off to the door handle there and we're all set <laughs> I think I'm gonna do well here <laughs> get rid of pail get rid of that's unfortunate all right Bill I'm all set I'm all set pull away around set I'm ready let her go I'm ready oh I'm ready yep yeah, yeah. let her go let her go go ahead give her a yeah. oh yeah oh oh boy You, Harold, you want no, 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 no. Yeah. Hi, Harold. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> what yeah, yeah, no, get get right. Right. Bring it on. Bring it on. Hey, hey, take it easy, guys. Guys, take it easy. Take it easy now. Take it easy. Guys, guys, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Come on now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Gord. I'm Mother Nature's best friend. <laughs> but I'm actually hoping that one day we can be more than just friends. <laughs> I'm here today because Red's asked me to do a scientific demonstration for you. I'm here to rid the world of an old wives' tale. You know, if there's one thing I know everything there is to know about, it's about... Oh, yeah, facts on fire. <laughs> I'm sure Red and Harold can back me up on that one. You know, you don't spend 18 years up at a fire watch tower without learning one thing. And whatever that one thing is that you've learned, <laughs> it's all you've got to cling to. Anyway, we've all heard the expression, fight fire with fire. Well, I'm here today to tell you that that does not work. Okay? <laughs> All you get when you fight fire with fire is extra fire. Now, to prove this point, oh, oh, boy. I'm going to set this sign on fire, okay? Then I'm going to fight this fire by using this flamethrower. No, um, okay? Gord, Gord, no, Gord, 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 you can't, you know, you can't, you can't have a fire going on the table. Here. No fire, no. <laughs> okay, well then, Harold can hold the sign. I got an idea. I got an idea. Why don't you prove that you can't fight fire with fire with fire with fire? Oh. Okay, I got you. All right. Really? Yep. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is obviously not going to work out, but I want to rid the world of another outdoorsman myth. The odds of killing two birds with one stone is astronomical. Okay? <laughs> one stone per bird, people. One stone per bird. Thank you. Just cruising the
the streets of Possum Lake. <laughs> the old man Meister and me checking out the girls chicks. Babe. <laughs> Talking the horn, waving, and them yelling things back at me. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> when I walk a restaurant on the bike, he's been gone forever. Maybe I should have left the monster wheel training wheels on it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah. What is, hey! What? You can't be in here with that. That's not a, don't. You're gonna hit the bear. You hit the bear. I'll go red! I don't know, Harold, I don't know. No, no, that's not, no, don't even do that. Don't Come encourage on. him. Don't that's not him. my bike. It's a bike, Carol. Huh? It's a two-wheeler. That was the deal. No, you're supposed to be, like, getting in shape and protecting the ozone. Harold, this thing gets about a thousand miles of the gallon. You are missing the point. I don't like points. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe I'll just keep the possum van. Well, maybe I'll just run over your foot. No! Meeting <laughs> <laughs> time! It's meeting time! Yeah, you go ahead, Harold. I'll be, I'll be right down there, coming down to get you. Uh, you won't get me back here! Ah! I'll get you, I'll get you. My wife is watching. I'll be coming straight home after the meeting. I hope you'll be my biker chick and my new motorcycle gang. Satan's second choice. <laughs> and to the rest of you, thanks for watching. On behalf of myself and Harold, and the whole gang up here at the lodge, keep your stick on the ice. pretty obvious if someone's going through a midlife crisis. Who wants to go next? Hey, hey,